What's going on YouTube? My name is Jacob. Welcome to 911%, a channel where I bring you guys along on my many random adventures with my Porsche 911s. Today, I'm installing a Porsche Tech Equipment roof transport system on my 2011 Cura 4S. And uh, if you wanna check out the entire winter mode video about the car, I'm gonna link it in the card above. This is strictly install, so without further ado, let's get started. So here are all the pieces and tools you're gonna need to install a Porsche Tech Equipment roof transport system. It's quite a, quite a mouthful. Minus that Yakima uh, or Yakima windshield back there. You get the two crossbars uh, with the Porsche logos. And it's marked clearly with a little diagram underneath which one is which, but you can kind of figure it out. And then these are the rubber strips that install into the channels of the crossbars uh, for wind buffeting, if I'm not mistaken. We also have these brackets that attach to the car itself. And then also you have these foam pads to protect the paint. Those specifically fit one way. The kit comes with a set of keys that allow you to open the roof rack and actually install it or remove it. And then the last piece that comes with it is this five millimeter hex key that allows you to assemble the whole thing. And obviously my flathead screwdriver that you're gonna need for the installation. So uh, yeah, let's throw it on. Okay, so first up what you wanna do is locate the four little openings on the roof rails. They easily pop up when you press down on the ribbed part here and pry open. Inside you'll find a flathead plastic screw that you wanna remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that on all four corners and see you guys in a second. All right, so now that you've got the four little doors open on the roof rail and the inside plastic screw removed, what you wanna do is figure out these little foam shoe things that will protect your paint from the hardware. So they're, the two fronts are the same and the two rears are the same and the way to tell them apart, I'll just stand them up here, see if we can compare them. But basically, they're a little bit bigger for the rear. There's a little bit more room right here. So you just have to make sure that the little arrows are pointing to the front of the car and you basically, you know, kind of fit them over the little hatch doors that pop open. And you want to do the same thing on the rear and then of course on the other side. So I'll just get that done and I'll see you guys in two seconds. Now you're gonna take these little brackets and stick them into the mounting points. It doesn't matter which one goes where, they're all four pieces are exactly the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So now that we've got the four mounting points attached on with the Allen key, I'm just going to lightly put on the crossbars before uh, moving on to the next step. Let's do it. Each crossbar has this little diagram underneath that shows you the placement. So now that I've got the crossbars attached, basically what you wanna do is just make sure that the foam footings are nicely snug with the rack. So there's no point where it could be metal on metal contact. But now that they're on, basically what we're gonna do is take our keys that come with the kit 
and open the rack and basically screw it onto the car. So let's do it. All right, so the rack's on nice and snug. So now all that's left to do is to install these rubber strips into the crossbars. So I'm going to slide those in, lock the rack up. It's pretty much ready to go. All right, so the roof rack is nice and sturdy on the car. Everything is pretty sweet. All the foot pads are nice and straight. So now all that's left, I mean, the roof rack's on, so this is how it comes from the factory. That's how they want you to do it. And obviously I'll, I'll reveal this outside so you guys can see the full effect of the car and everything. But all that I'm going to do now is just to install my Yakima windshield, which is the little fairing. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do that, show you guys how that works. So I'm just attaching the fairing to the crossbar and it's actually a really smart system. I don't know if you guys can see how it loops in through here, but it clicks in and then you use this provided Allen key to actually tighten, which is really cool because then you can reuse it on other racks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other two. So the rack's on and uh, I'm gonna take the car out now for a little drive and then also park it in a cooler spot where I can walk around and show you guys what it really looks like. I just wanted to go for a drive, make sure it's not whistling or anything like that. So I'm gonna take it on the highway now. I think we should be good. I'm just heading also to a spot where I can film the car and finally reveal it. All right guys, so without further ado, here is my 2011 Carrera 4S sporting the Porsche Tech Equipment roof transport system from Porsche along with a 38 inch Yakima windshield. I hope you guys enjoyed this little install video. Uh, remember to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Take care.